it's Sarah and welcome to my channel. I am super excited about today's video because it is the very first of my home decor series. This video I will be showing you how to style a bar cart in two different ways. The idea basically came about from my husband's birthday which was not too long ago and I could not figure out what to get him as always. It's like if it's not electronics I always have um, trouble finding him a present. Uh, but anyways he's been experimenting with the darker side of liquor as to before he would only drink light liquor like me so this was a perfect time to definitely get him a bar cart to include the accessories and whatever other gadgets so that he may wander off into liquor land <laughs> but anyways um i was trying to find bar carts all over the place and being in japan i guess that's not a thing they really do here or if it is i just don't know where to look but um, I did look online and those things can get pretty, pretty pricey. I ended up doing it with an IKEA bar cart, which is very versatile. You could basically do anything you wanted to it. Um, since it was for my husband, I did decorate it towards more of a masculine feel. And then the second one that I'm going to show you is going to be decorated to the way I would do it if it were my own or if I was single and lived on my own. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I got this cart from Ikea, it was about 37 yen I want to say, which is about 30 US dollars. Putting it together did not take long at all. I did have some issues with the warp metal which added on to the labor time, but overall it's pretty sturdy for the price. It is about 3 feet tall with 3 shelves, it has a drawer, some metal hooks on both sides for hanging, it's got a good handle on it, it's got 2 wheels as well so you may transfer it from room to room. I did try moving it with liquor very slowly and it wasn't hard at all and nothing fell off. So this is going to be the overall look that we're going for for the gentleman's bar cart. It would make a great gift for the men in our lives and doesn't necessarily have to be for a husband, it could be for a boyfriend, also great for a dad, brother, or maybe even a friend. So let's go ahead and begin with the bottom shelf. I went ahead and added these long stemmed wine glasses that are perfect for red wine. I love them because they add that perfect height for the shelf. And I'm also going to add these old fashioned glasses perfect for whiskey. I went ahead and added this chunky cake stand for that ultra macho look. It also allows for more room to showcase his collection of shot glasses. These shot glasses add color to the shelf and can be great conversation starters. We just have his Air Force ones right here. Also ones from Miami and when we went to the Miami Zoo. And one from Guam which is where he recently went to. I added these rocks glasses on the top tier because of the interesting texture they had on the bottom. Now moving on from the bottom shelf to the second shelf. I added a cutting board for lemons and limes as well as other sweet fruit to garnish your margaritas and cocktails with. I also added this metal bucket for that manly touch. In it I placed the wine and bottle opener, also the swizzler stick, and the wine topper. I also added a small divided tray right on top of the cutting board for fruits and slices or you can even add small snacks. I actually ended up doing both. I added lemon slices and one of my favorite almond nut snacks, the cocoa roast. Next to that I laid a retractable knife. Next to the cutting board, I placed these secret storage boxes. They added to the look I was trying to achieve. They added height to the shelf, which I like, and they also make great fillers. Right on top of that, I placed a DIY tip jar that says, get drunk and tip the bartender. I like the homemade feel that it gave. It's a pretty easy DIY, but if you're interested, I'll go ahead and add the clips showing you how I made it at the end of this video. Of course, you cannot forget the napkins and I just have it in a newspaper design and I placed these shot glasses right on top of them. I actually ended up not being satisfied with the outcome of that so I ended up moving the napkins and the shot glasses to the back and I moved the book to the front instead. Most of the decor from this shelf was purchased from Daiso since I sadly could not find a home decor store here. but. Let's go ahead and move on to the first shelf. So for the top shelf, I added a black mirror to serve as a tray. I just absolutely love the look of liquor bottles reflection against it. I have Ciroc here, which he enjoys a lot. 
And I also place the liquor on top for easier access for refills. Then here's the dark liquor I was talking about earlier. And funny enough, I did not get any cognac glasses. Next to the liquor bottles, I'm going to place this mason jar from a delicious concoction called an Irish wake. It is only made in two places in Florida. It is a great souvenir and reminds us of a little bit of back home. Inside that, I place these gray and white straws. I also added a shaker right in front of that along with the ice bucket and tongs. And then here is a Domino's game which is a perfect addition to the bar cart as the men that come over usually enjoy playing this game over some drinks. The wooden case serves as a perfect decor piece because like I said I wanted to add the black to the color scheme. And then finally here is a wet your whistle bar sign that I DIY to tie the entire thing together. I love the chalkboard look that it gives and after you add your bar sign you are complete with your gentleman's bar cart. Now it's time for our ladies version of the bar cart. The color scheme I chose for this incorporates gold and silver tones, pops of pastel but mostly emphasizing baby pinks. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. I'm just going to add the same Ciroc from earlier and then I have this white saffron flavored wine from Ikea which I am not a huge fan of. The saffron is just way too intense but not too bad to use in a mimosa mix. And then I have some red wine we got recently and then of course the vanilla Smirnoff because I love vanilla vodka. I added liquor on the bottom shelf unlike the men's which was on top because I feel like I refill much less and I would rather have more room on top for other things and I don't mind having to bend down whereas the men wouldn't be as inclined to do so. Next to the bottles, I added this delicate looking two-tier cake stand for that ultra feminine touch. I also had shot glasses of my own I wanted to show off, but the variety and color took too much away from my color scheme, so I placed them in these pale pink cupcake liners to balance the shelf out. They are souvenirs from Panama City Beach, Daytona, Seattle, and Miami. I have these notebooks from Daiso with a gold spiral which is perfect for my color scheme so I placed them on the top tier. Then I added this inspirational book by Miranda Kerr and it looks just like this on the inside. I made sure to stagger the book so each color has a chance to peep out. I finally topped it off with a silver shimmery piggy bank. I love the idea of the tip jar from the men's cart and wanted to include something similar to the ladies version. Now moving on to the second shelf. I wanted to add this mirror to serve as a tray because I think the look of the glasses reflection against it is just absolutely amazing and it adds that particular depth. But anyways, this is just an octagon mirror with faux diamond studs all around the edges. I wanted to add these tall classic pint glasses to the back. These provide a good height for this shelf. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about height on a shelf, but if you were to put everything that's the same size all across the shelf, it will look very dull and nothing will pop out. But anyways, back to these pint glasses. They are definitely perfect for beer, but I use them for margaritas, mojitos, and other blended drinks. I added these double shot glasses because I most likely won't be using the souvenir ones on the bottom. I love mixed shots as well as dessert shots that usually require whipped cream, so I usually gravitate to using these to compensate for the alcohol I'm losing with these type of shots. White wine glasses because I love a good sweet white wine. I added a single stemless pink flower under these wine glasses to add pink. Plus, I just find decor housed under wine glasses very aesthetically pleasing for some reason. Then I wanted to add these pastel blue candles to the foot of the wine glass as well as a gold shimmer one to the front middle glass. I believe that it gives that bold pop to this otherwise lackluster shelf. I added this girl's night out martini glass. I kept it inside its case because it looked more interesting to me and plus it added more pink to the shelf. Then I added the solid pink napkins on the shelf because they would be less likely to get wet here. And right on top, I placed a glass ice bucket to match the rest of the glassware, and that composed the second shelf. Then going from here to the top and final shelf. I'm going to start off with this giant martini glass because I absolutely love cocktails. Inside, I placed these pink and silver tinsel icicles because the texture reminded me of a cocktail I enjoy which includes pink cotton candy and silver sugar. Next to it, I wanted to add a fresh bouquet of flowers that I've actually had for a while now, so they're not too fresh but they look brand new. 
but anyways, it added more height as well as contribute to the pastel palette I'm trying to achieve. And the white solid face gives it a clean look. Then I have this gold round cardboard-like paper that I added to give a really huge pop of color to this shelf. And of course, you have to have the shaker, so I put that right here. And then I have this red wine glass made by my friend, which obviously the color combination is perfect for my color scheme. And then I have this mason jar with a silver bow. And inside it, I place these pink and white straws to add more pink to the shelf. And then this mug right here, I filled it with the same items from the men's version of the bar cart, except my can and wine opener is a bunny instead. Of course, you cannot forget a candle for that ultra feminine touch. And the rim is in gold glitter, so it's absolutely adorable. I placed another girly cake stand on the shelf on the opposing side of where I placed the one on the bottom shelf to balance it out. I wanted to add purple candles to help tie in the purple flowers in the back. I added more of these flowers that I paired with the wine glasses from the shelf below. And I am a sucker for macarons, so these pastel ones were the perfect finish to this shelf. These go great with some of my favorite dessert shots such as buttery nipples, birthday cake, and chocolate pudding. And finally, I finished this card off with a banner I made. I just thought that it created a very welcoming and fun party vibe. But that is it for the bar cart guys, as I said earlier, I'll have the quick and easy tutorial of the tip jar and the bar sign I DIY'd at the end of this video. I will also have the link of the card I used in the description box below if you're interested. I hope you got some great inspiration and if you use any of these ideas, I'd love to see how yours turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. So for the bar cart sign, you'll need a picture frame, black construction paper, a silver or gold sharpie. I went ahead and went with a silver one because I'm trying to go for that chalkboard look. You will also need a pencil and scissors. So first off, you need to go ahead and take out the back part of the frame so that you can use it as a size guideline for your black construction paper. And then go ahead and trace it out so you will get the perfect fit. Next, of course, you'll need to cut it. And once you're done, you can go ahead and begin drawing or writing out your own sign. The possibilities are endless for this portion of the DIY. You can write out anything you want. I just went ahead and wrote something practical and humorous for my husband, which it says, wet your whistle. And I just decorated around the border of the paper. You can make it as simple or as intricate as you want and you can actually print something out if you wanted to but when you're done with that, go ahead and pop it back in. I opted to not put the glass back in there so I could achieve more of that chalkboard look. And that is it, you have your own customized bar sign. Moving on to the tip jar DIY. First thing you'll need is some kind of piggy bank. I chose this plain tin can. You will need some more paper to use as a label. You will also need some scissors. I'm going to use these ones with a patterned blade. You'll also need some glue dots or glue squares. And lastly, a silver sharpie. For the first step, I will go ahead and place your paper next to your thing and try to size it out and see how much paper you'll be needing or how far up or how far down you want it. After that, go ahead and cut your paper to your desired size. And begin writing your label. I just went ahead and wrote get drunk and tip the bartender. It's short and straight to the point. Once you are done creating your label, you can go ahead and use whatever adhesive you have to place it onto the can. And there you have your own tip jar. And of course, I don't actually expect our guests to use the tip jar, but I thought it was a very cute addition to the bar cart. It will actually be a place for all the loose change we find in the house. If you have roommates, another good way to use a tip jar like this is for a liquor fund. If you decide to do either of these, please let me know. I would love to see them. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.